Hey, it's Mike Oz from Yahoo Sports. This is new Twins manager Rocco Badelli. We are going to open some old baseball cards. A lot of guys stealing third. As that ball crushed, deep left and high off the Sports Authority sign. A long home run for Rocco Baldelli. So, uh, Rocco, manager now. Yeah. But I want to talk to you about maybe when you're a little younger. Did you yeah. collect baseball cards? I actually did. I. Okay. Uh, it was kind of a, a deal where we would go get uh, milkshakes and we would go hang out at the diner down the street. It was called, a place called Boyce in Woonsocket, Rhode Island. And uh, we'd get shakes and they had cards and we'd open them up and then we'd go to the card store down the street. I loved it. And we'd go to games and try to get autographs and I'd bring all my, all my stuff. What, were you, what was your card you were chasing? I think the, I think the Ken Griffey Jr. Yeah. Was it upper? Was it an upper deck? Oh, or something 89 like upper that? deck. Oh, it yeah, might have been something along yeah, those yeah. lines. But that was that you, and, was, you uh, and everybody. Me and everybody. You else. and everybody. Yeah, I don't ever think I got one, but I, I, also I was never on the got, lookout. I never got one, and I never wanted to buy one because I felt like that was cheating. Right. You got to get it out of a pack. Right. 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 So you picked 2004 tops. I did. I did. So you were playing at this point. I was playing. Yes. I picked 94 tops. Okay. So this is a little more when you were younger. Ten years apart. We'll see what the difference is. Go ahead and open yours Let's up. Let's do it. Let's, Let's see who you it. got. If you get yourself, obviously, that's amazing. That would be kind of fun, um, wouldn't it? But, you know, teammates, anybody you know, any good stories yeah, you I'll have. Yeah, I'll just talk about all kinds of stuff, I guess. Uh, this was 2004. This is my second year in the big leagues. Yeah. Let's see. Garrett, Garrett Anderson. Anderson. Garrett Anderson used to swing this massively large and heavy bat that when you got a hold of one and you used to mess around with it, it would feel uh, like something that you couldn't believe someone was playing with in a major <laughs> league game. So that was one thing I remembered about him. Uh, Paulie Canerco. Um, Born, I think this, I'm gonna turn this over and it's gonna say born in Providence, Rhode Island. Even though he didn't, there it is, born 3576, Providence, Rhode Island, but he grew up in Arizona. So I always felt a little connection even though you know. he wasn't actually from there, um, being from Rhode Island. Uh, Bobby Abreu, we used to run against him in spring training. All like, So you get to know the Phillies guys um, well when you were with the Rays just oh. because they were right down the street. Yeah. Um, but we used to watch him all the time. He was significantly bigger human being than I remembered uh, when I was, before I had gotten to the big leagues, but he moved really well. It was one of those things like, I can't believe this guy's running as well as he is. Do I have anything else to say? We have Boone, <laughs> we got Booney over here. Uh, on been, his, on the, been on the show. I'm sure he has. Been on the, show. the D train. It's a little rookie card or like a, he has a D little. D train's rookie yeah. card, yeah. Mm -hmm. The funk that he would bring, you know, out there. <laughs> like you had no idea where, where this ball was coming from. Uh, he had a ton of personality on the field. He was always fun. You never knew what he was going to do, but he was a great guy. Sean Figgins, good little athlete. He would run around and do all kinds of stuff. I don't know, what, what is this right here? Is this part of a... I think it might be just on the wall. That is on the wall. Oh, oh yeah, sorry. That, that's down. Sorry, dude. Forget that thing. Uh, we got Tim Lynn and Wade Miller and Brett, My Brett Myers. Uh, got to face Brett Myers in the, in the World Series. Um, in, uh, 2008, Reed Johnson, another guy we would run uh, against in the American League East. He was a good little player. He actually had a good long career. Ended up playing with a few different people, but uh, these are guys that we would run against, you know, in that area in Florida in spring training and spend a ton of time with these you, guys. You, I didn't say anything. You knew every single person. You're just like, oh yeah. Let's, let's, let's see how you fare in the 90s. Okay, let's, let's do let's it. Let's see if it's any different in 94. This is not going to be as easy for me. <laughs> All right. We got Pedro Munoz. Pedro Munoz, twin. I need to ask yeah. the. I need to ask some of my twins people about Pedro <laughs> Munoz. They can yeah. help me out. Your, so we, that's your first trade target right there. Yes. You got a twin, uh, Brady Anderson. Brady, great career. This is, um, which which year was this? This was '94. Yeah. So okay. He yeah he was only 13 homers the year before that, so it wasn't the the 50. The 50 yeah, it wasn't was coming year. up. Was coming up it pretty wasn't soon. That year. Uh, Sandy Alomar. Sandy Alomar. Sandy's okay. another big, strong guy. I mean, Sandy's over there yeah. uh, at first base with the Indians, so we would see him all the time, but uh, he's doing a great job. Vinny Castilla. Former Ray, okay. former Devil Ray. Uh, Jose Vizcaino. Jose Vizcaino. I grew up watching some Tim Nearing, so I grew up in the Providence area in Rhode uh, Island. Uh, got to see Tim um, still in the game, Red still doing great things. So yeah, a... his background with, with the Red Sox. We get to watch him play a whole bunch. Ohio native. Oh, Dave Henderson. See, Dave I grew up in the Bay Henderson. Area, so. This is, this is, this so you're gonna hold is, on to that is, one? Is, you're gonna value area, that one yeah. highly? Well, look at, look at that, it's like a glamour shot, too. You know what, he looks like he's got some good personality. Got uh, Ryan Klesko. Ryan Klesko, I grew up watching some Ryan Klesko. Paul Osmacher. Big, strong guy with a good swing. Mike Maddox. Mike Maddox. Oh, and, and a good uh, one right there. Oh, okay. Cal Rifkin. Cal. I used to love Cal growing up. I remember watching the day, uh, the game when he when he broke the record. I've watched it from my bedroom and pretty special I mean, stuff, man. Who, did, who didn't love Cal Ripken, I know. Right? 
I know. You want Pedro? Is that our is that our deal here? From from there, I will. Uh, I, let's keep going. Let's see who else. Well, I'm done. That's, uh, it. That's Who it. are you offering? Who are you offering? Well, I mean, do you, I'm, I'm I'm opening the bid at like, what do you want for Pedro Munoz? What do I want for Pedro Munoz? What do you offer? Let's I mean, it's see. a twin. You know, it's the only twin right. we got. You you. You know what? Who do you who who are you interested in over here? Let's why don't we just put it out there? I'll and take go a, I'll there. take a, I'll take a Bobby Abreu for. Bobby Abreu did, did, you know, I liked him for a little bit. Let me see what you got again. I want to look at these. You want, you want my Cal Ripken. That's what you're, I'm trying I know, to avoid I am the, looking at Cal I'm trying Ripken. to avoid that Cal Ripken. All right, how about this? Yeah, tell me. I'll give you Cal Ripken and Pedro Munoz for the D-Train rookie card for Bobby Abreu. Okay. And I'm going to need one more. Okay. How's Booney? Oh, I'll do that. Okay. I will, I I will make that like deal. Booney. I will make that. You yeah. get rid of the Yankees. Yes. Yeah, well, the, the value is going up now. Now with everything going on, the value of this card is going to be skyrocketing. So I'll, we'll do that. Three for two. That's a deal. Winter meetings. We're doing some big deals here. Me and Rocco. Appreciate it, man. I like where I'm at. I'll take this. Thank yeah. you. A lot of fun. Yeah, it is Thank fun. You. Thank you. You're very welcome.